hey you guys welcome back to my channel so i quickly wanted to show you how i embroider on toilet paper yes it is possible to embroider on toilet paper and possibly um paper towels so what you want to do is i bought a two ply um uh, package of toilet paper from the dollar general so it doesn't have to be anything expensive i am counting here four tiles and then I'm gonna go ahead and just fold it over to make it a total of eight tiles. So you wanna do this because you want a little bit of stability on your project because remember that toilet paper rips really easy. It's very delicate. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and you um, fold it. If you wanna fold it a third time, that's fine. You can probably do that too. Um, I don't think that um, that's gonna do any harm. Um, if anything it'll give it more stability make sure that when you line it up and you re-roll your toilet paper again make sure that your image is facing you don't do what i did with my um with my image what i did was i ended up doing it backwards but it's okay <laughs> no one was able to tell that's the beauty of toilet paper it's very very forgiving so anyway i went ahead and i grabbed a tear away excuse me a cutaway stabilizer and i just went ahead and used my large hoop for my pe 800 the one that already came with the machine um so that's what i did and here i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm not adding any spray or anything like that to stick it because again it's toilet paper and it's delicate and when you're gonna remove the um, stabilizer from the toilet paper like you don't want it to rip so um i'm not gonna go ahead and like peel it off or cut it um, the way that you normally would with a shirt. So what I would do is, um, like when I'm going to cut the, uh, the stabilizer off from the toilet paper, I'm just going to cut shy from the edges of the toilet paper, if that makes any sense. So that way it could just kind of even out. So anyway, right here, I'm just going to continue to, um, hoop my toilet paper. Um, <laughs> and I like this project. I think it's pretty easy and it's super fun especially now for the holidays i like to decorate for the autumn season like super early like even before summer's over <laughs> i'm already decorating for the fall um it's one of my favorites so here i'm just tapping it on the back to make sure that it sounds like a drum that's always important it just lets me know that it's you know it's great and it's ready to go all right so i'm just gonna show you real quick before we go to the machine All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm going to um, connect my hoop to the machine. Um, I struggled a little bit here because it wasn't giving me that like clanking sound, <laughs> that locking noise, and I wasn't wearing my glasses. But anyway, I went ahead and I locked it into the machine and the image is found, guess where I found this image? Comment down below right now if you can guess where I got this image. So I got my image right from the machine. It's right built in. Um, all I did was tap on a little icon that's there and they have a selection of different types of images. So guys, use the images that you have on the PE800. If you haven't used the PE800 or you're nervous or if it's still in the box, um, I encourage you to take it out and just, you could even do some test stitches on toilet paper so you don't have to worry about ruining you know, shirts and hats or bibs or whatever it is that you wanna embroider on. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've ruined shirts thinking that, you know, I nailed it. Sometimes I would pinch the sleeve to the neck or I would pinch the back of the neck to the whatever. And it's super frustrating, especially when the project is coming out so nice. But grab yourself some toilet paper and get to work. It's super fun, I promise you. Um, but yeah, so as you can see right here, I have that plastic uh, saran wrap is what I used for the top of the toilet paper. That's all I did was grab some saran wrap, rip a piece out of it, um, rip a piece off. I laid it gently on top of my um, toilet paper. I didn't hoop it or anything like that, just placed it right on top. Um, and then I brought the uh, foot down of the machine, I brought the, the hoop down and then I just started to, you know, embroider the image right on it. So the reason for this uh, saran wrap is to make sure that Again, you are enforcing more stability 
Uh, usually people uh, use that water soluble I think it's called water it's a water stabilizer something I don't know what it is um, but that's expensive and so I was watching a couple of videos where a lot of people use the hack and um, instead of buying the expensive brand they just use saran wrap and it works just as beautiful so um, here you see that the image is embroidering pretty nicely um, and I'm absolutely loving it um, and again, you can select your own colors. You don't have to pick the colors that are on your machine. Make this your own. Um, you can make the squirrel brown or gray or whatever color it is that you want. So you really don't have to follow exactly how the machine wants you to, you know, to embroider it. Choose whatever colors you want, get creative, and more importantly, have fun. All right, so our project is complete. We're gonna go ahead and just unhoop it, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the thread and just start cutting it with my scissors. Again, that came with the machine, so you really don't have to, you know, keep buying stuff. Just use what you have um, and work with that. So the machine is set up for you to also be successful. I mean, it does take some time. Um, meaning like it's a little lengthier in time than a 10 needle of course but we just got to use what we have and to make it work for us so I'm um, just gonna cut this off and this guys makes a great gift so the holidays are coming up um, you know you could gift it use the cellophane wrap decorate it put a ribbon around it tie it up make it pretty and you got yourself some really inexpensive gifts so uh, just some gift ideas for you guys there so Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like this project? Do you have any questions? Do you have any tips? Um, did you try this project? Are you gonna? And what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna keep it for yourself? Or give it as gifts? Um, there's so many images on the machine too. I saw a snowman that was so cute. Um, and here's what the final product looks like. All right, you guys, so we reached the end of the video. Don't mind my crazy hair. Just woke up to um, do this last shoot real quick. But if you like this video, please make sure to um, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos. Until the next one, peace.